Hello everyone, this is Stacy with Quantum Artistic. As you can see, I'm trying a different camera angle today. Uh, you're seeing the front of me, um, and you're also seeing the hideous background behind me. But I'm going to try to kind of make it more pleasant looking and get some of these bins and boxes moved from my studio so that we can have kind of more interesting videos going forward. Um, so today I'm going to do a demonstration pour and I'm going to do it in peacock colors because I, I had a piece that I did the other day and I noticed that when I used specific colors of metallics on black it just reminded me of a peacock. So my hope is that it comes out very peacockish because I love peacocks and I want to have a beautiful pour uh, because it will just make my Saturday. So. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and switch back to a face down camera view so you can see the work as it's happening. And I'm also going to go live on my cell phone so that you can see it from a different angle on my Facebook page. So I'll be back in just a second. Let's go ahead and do some pouring. And we're back with the uh, top down version of, of the painting. And I'm just going to go ahead and hop on Facebook Live here. Give me just a moment. This may or may not be something that is easy to do. I don't, I just don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got a black canvas, um, mostly prepped for, for this particular project. Um, I'm going to flood it with black. I mixed up all kinds of black this morning. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the peacocky colors to it and see what happens. This may or not be, may or may not be something that um, looks good. You just never know. You know, I actually, oops, I'm going to go ahead and squirt this out and then I'm going to go and get myself some, some uh, gloves because I forgot to put gloves on as usual. Now I forgot to, I remembered to put my um, my uh, apron on this time, but not the gloves. And the weird thing is I bought these gloves uh, in February of this past year because when I used to work at the office, at an office, I pretty much wore complete um, hazmat gear all winter long because somebody was always sick there. And it just never really made me happy to have to um, get coughed on, sneezed on, or touch things that other people had um, handed to me after they had wiped their noses, which was kind of a common occurrence. So being the germaphobe that I am, I bought a great big box of these nitro gloves. And then, you know, in March, I got laid off and I had to be at home. Oddly enough, I have found new use for all of these gloves because I bought a big giant pack of them. I also had all kinds of masks that I was already in the habit of wearing whenever I was at the office because um, of the germ factor there. So it all worked out very well in the end. So I gotta, I've gone ahead and um, put black in this canvas. I may want to put a little bit more to see some areas where it's kind of pitting or whatever. There's no silicone in any of my current mixtures. I did play with silicone when I first started doing this. Um, gorgeous cells and effects, but boy oh boy what a pain it is to clean it. And I would rather have something that I can just immediately varnish as opposed to um, having to wash it and then try to varnish it because what I was finding was that every time I put silicone in something and I went to go varnish it, I could never get it clean enough and it was driving me insane. So, the colors that I'm going to use today are the, um, it's actually oddly enough called metallic cobalt blue. You know what, I've lost focus on this. Let me go, I'm going to, I'm going to stick something down here on this because for some odd reason my, um, there we go, and I'm going to turn it to manual focus here. There. Um, this is called metallic cobalt blue it's by Artist Loft, but to me it's more of like a deep sea green. I don't see anything cobalt about it. But we're going to use this pretty bluish green color. I'm going to give it a good shake. And I think that this one right here is another metallic green. Let me just make sure. 
I don't know, that looks kind of regular greenish to me. I have a metallic green here, so give me a second. Of course, I was completely unprepared. Aha, uh -huh, here it is right here. This is an actual metallic green, and it's got a kind of a gold luster to it. I'm going to use that one, and I'm going to use my old gold because the old gold has that beautiful warm tone to it. So we're going to use that. And then the last is a red metallic from, I believe this is my red metallic. Let me just take a peek. Yep, it's a red metallic from Artist Loft. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of this because I don't want it to take over. I'm just going to do a little bit. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to put this down as my main color because that's my favorite of all of them. And I think I might just do one puddle down here kind of off center and then blow it up like the fan, the fan tail of a peacock. So wish me luck. Here we go. It's always so exciting when we do these things. I know probably put a fair puddle here and I'm just going to kind of go down I'm going to do the green next seems that peacocks are a common theme in all art forms quilling I've done peacocks quilling lots of times um, I see a lot of cricket designs as peacocks just see peacocks everywhere and lastly, we're going to slap on this metallic red, but I'm just going to put a very small blob in the middle because I don't want it to, to take over. All right, I noticed that I got some crap there and there too. Let's go ahead and flood the outside of my puddles with black so I have a lot to blow with with the blow dryer. And let's get the blow dryer out. I'm going to blow this way and then I'm going to pop it out. I'm going to leave whatever whatever empty space comes with it. Here we go. Moment of truth. is really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. And now I didn't torch anything, so I'm going to get all kinds of like little bubbles pop up, but I kind of like that. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Should I have like a mega long straw so that I didn't have to like get my hair down on this because I'm I get nervous about that. Yeah, I'm not touching any of this because every time I touch things, I destroy them. The moral of the story is I like it like this. It's gorgeous. It's actually different than I expected it to be, but very beautiful. Um, and I believe that if I torch up in here a little bit more, I might be able to bring some more of the. Yeah, there we go get those colors coming up. Come on. Come on, baby. Oops, and that made that one disappear. It's up, those ones are disappearing. You know, it's kind of hit or miss. It's like, are you going to make the color disappear or are you going to make the color come out? There's just no way to tell until you start cranking out that torch. So this is really quite pretty. Um, I like the white, the, 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 empty space, the negative space here and here, kind of gives it a balance and it has this beautiful lobed look that's reminiscent of irises. Um, I think that as we as it dries these cells will begin to open and then once it is completely dry the spectacular thing that's going to happen is that we are going to see all this shimmery metallic. So the gold will kind of deepen, the blues will deepen and in person it's probably going to be really really gorgeous. I expect more development around here. So we'll see what happens. This was my goal was to do a peacock pour. I was I had it stuck in my head this morning. I couldn't get it out. Um, and we'll see we'll see what happens when this dries. All right. So, anyways, um, 
I'm going to try to do live videos once a week. Um, I also today worked on the project of transitioning all of my uh, complete videos over to quickies so that you can kind of get a really quick sense of the pouring process. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so that you can see. I'm going to turn autofocus back on so that you can actually see how this looks. Let's go ahead and slide our around for you. We have now this the ISO is not up very high on this but these are just very luminescent looking metallics out here on the edge. The gold kind of spilled through here in a channel which is really beautiful. Lots of gold and green out here. And down here in the throat of the flower we've got the blues. Real heavy gold here with some nice um, like cobblestone lacing. And over here we've got this kind of fade into black look. I'm going to go ahead and take the Facebook Live and bring this closer so that you can see it better. Let's see what happens. There we go. Of course the color is not 100% true just because of the, you know, the way it tends to want to brighten, but you can see how beautiful this is in here. And when you get up close, you see detail that you don't really see from a distance. Let's go ahead and zoom back to the center here. There. So that is my peacock pour. It's out of my head now. I can just stop. And, um, there, I don't know if this got into the exact area that it needs to be, but it's better than nothing. So now I'm off to uh, work on a triptych. Uh, I'm waiting for my black piece from last night to dry. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And I have a big 12 by 16 triptych to make that's in purples, and I can't wait. So I will see you all uh, probably later on tonight with some more pouring videos. And I have videos scheduled to go all week, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find the link somewhere on my Quantum Artistic Facebook page. Um, I'm trying to get 100, 100 subscribers so that I can get a custom channel name, which is kind of important to me because it's easier to refer people to something with a custom name than it is to give them this long alphanumeric URL. So anyways, more videos tonight, and I have some scheduled out at least as far in the future as November 23rd. So, and I, of course, as always, will take more detailed um, high-resolution photos in good lighting of all of my currently dried pieces as soon as they are dry enough to dare to touch. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.